All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. Our buddy Tony Pauline says the Niners have an interest in a very intriguing player. We'll tell you who that player is and discuss him coming up next. First, we are brought to you by Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week, folks, from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. Go check out Pig and a Pickle. Get the brisket. Get the brisket chili. Go say hi to Damon and Mary. Tell them that Larry Kruger sent you. We're also brought to you by Marin Auto Glass. MarinAutoGlass.com on the web. 415-883-3030. Underdog Fantasy is one of our sponsors as well. Check the link in the description. Use the promo code Krug, and they will match you up to your first $100. And let's not forget Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles. 205 Cypress Avenue in Pacific Grove. Call Anthony Catania. He's at 831-521-5264. All right, let's talk a little bit about the uh, one of the stories of the weekend uh, pertaining to the 49ers, and that is uh, our good friend Tony Pauline, who's a longtime NFL scout, put out on social media that the 49ers have a third-round grade on the former Wisconsin, current Louisville running back, a slash fullback, Isaac Garendo. And then Pauline later deleted his tweet. Now, did he delete the tweet because he didn't believe the Niners have interest? Or did he delete the tweet because somebody with the Niners said, could you maybe not put our interest out there in this uh, in this player? I don't know which, but my guess is it's more the latter. The Niners have drafted a running back in two of the last three years. Um, it seems like, you know, there's a lot of Niner fans who are like, don't draft a running back in the third round anymore uh, based on, you know, Trey Sermon and others, uh, you know, some of the whiffs they've had in the third round. Joe Williams going way back to the first uh, draft that Shanahan Lynch presided over. But let's talk a little bit about Garendo because I think Garendo is <clears throat> a really interesting dynamic player that I think the 49ers should have interest in. Uh, he had 132 carries for 810 yards and 11 rushing touchdowns this year. 22 receptions, 233, 234 yards receiving in 14 games in the 2023 season. This guy's a grad transfer. He played four years at Wisconsin. Uh, he's six feet, about 220 pounds, so and probably with a frame to put on another five to ten. So he could be six feet 230 he ran though four three three at that weight which makes him a real difference making type runner at 220 pounds he also had a 41 and a half inch vertical which really shows the lower body explosion um and i think there's a chance this guy could play fullback now he's got a thick build um, the other thing that's really nice about his skill set, he can both catch the ball out of the backfield and he does it pretty naturally and he can block. I mean, and this guy actually shows not just an ability to block. He shows like an ability and an enthusiasm to block. This guy will square up blitzers and just stonewall them in the hole. Um, and he's, he's a tough guy. Now he was a track guy in high school. Um, and maybe that's why he was a little bit behind the curve, but had a full career at Wisconsin, though he didn't play tons, then transfers to Louisville as a grad transfer and has a terrific year and then shows up at the testing and, and runs in the four threes with a 41 and a half inch vertical. So what is he? Well, I, I, I'll say this. He's not a great running back. Like if you watch him as a running back, um, he rounds off his his cuts. He's not is as sharp cutting as you would see some running backs are. Um, he doesn't to me look like an every down star back in the NFL. But what he looks like to me is a really good size speed athlete who uh, has played a lot of football, is tough, can catch and can can block. Now, what does that sound like? That sounds like a fullback. That sounds like Kyle Husechek 2.0. And let's be honest about the 49er situation right now. Kyle Husechek, you know, they redid his contract to make him more affordable uh, because Purdy's, you know, extension is coming up. 
But the Niners, in reality, are going to have to move off of Husechek probably in, in a short amount of time. Maybe it's this year. Maybe it's next year. Last year in the draft, they went for Jack Coletto. Jack Coletto, in, in talking to Husechek, you know, Coletto was a mechanical engineering major. Very, very, very smart player. In fact, Juice told me that he felt like Coletto was the smartest player he'd ever seen in the NFL. But he had kind of marginal athleticism, and the Niners put him on the practice squad and eventually had to stop protecting him on the practice squad, and the Steelers picked him off um, in the middle of the year, and now he'll go to camp next summer with the Steelers. So was Coletto a great um, answer to what's the Niners' plan post check? No, because he's he was a limited athlete. He was versatile and smart. And, you know, I, I thought played pretty well in the preseason, but he needed to build his body into a stronger, more explosive body. Um, and, and he had more of a college body and he needed more of a pro body. And we'll see. I mean, I think Coletto is going to do good things in the NFL. I think he's going to be in the NFL for a long time. I think he's going to do the work and get stronger and more sudden and more explosive. But now you got a guy in Garendo that really, could put on 10 pounds, but um, he's got the strength. He's got the speed. He's got that suddenness that you're looking for. He's got that dynamic big playability as a receiver. I mean, he's got the potential. You can flip it to a guy like Garendo in the flat. He makes one guy miss, and suddenly you've got a 4-3 guy with 225 pounds racing down the sideline. So... He is very, very intriguing. And if I were the Niners, I absolutely would be interested in Isaac Garendo. Now, the third round, eh, that may be a tad early. I may want to wait till day three. But um, if you could get a get this guy in the late third round, you're looking for guys that can make your roster and, and change the dynamic of your team. Um, and Garendo probably could make the roster as a backup running back at first, backup fullback, and then maybe become the starter at fullback within a within a year. Um, he also gives you a dynamic element of of movement and and you know coverage ability. And you're gonna have to cover juice and Ayuk and Debo and Kittle and a four three fullback. That is going to be a, a very, very difficult task for any defense. Um, at any time. So remember that name on draft day, Isaac Garendo. Uh, Tony Pauline does not put out stuff that's not legit. Uh, my guess is the fact that he took it down has more to do with the Niners saying, hey, we don't want our, our stuff out there. Not that they're not interested. I think they probably are interested. Um, and just remember, if you hear Garendo, people are going to say, well, he's a running back and this and that. Think of him as a 4-3 receiving fullback who can also block. And then you sit there and go, wait a second, that's intriguing. So anyway, thanks to Tony Pauline for putting that out for us. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of The Krug Show. And thanks to all of you guys for supporting The Krug Show on YouTube.